Good afternoon, everyone. This is Eric, Northwest Bus Sales. I got Jackie, my nephew, behind the camera doing a fantastic job, as always. He's got his shades on. I need to borrow those, bro. It's a little bright out here. Check out this weather we're having here in the Northwest. This is really something. I'm not going to lie. I'm ready for the fall, dude. I'm ready for some rain, Jackie. I know everybody thinks I'm nuts, but I'm ready. All right. I got to focus here. 2005. MCI D4500. We've got a number of these in stock. Look right behind you, Jackie. Look, one, two, three, four. Total of four in stock right now. Again, uh, similar to the last video I did, I'll tell you what, these things are outstanding coaches. I absolutely love the D. It's kind of MCI's utility coach. You just can't go wrong with a D. All right, came from a local transit authority. Here in the Pacific Northwest area, Seattle area, I cannot emphasize enough of how well these babies have been maintained. All of them. Outstanding maintenance program. We're going to mix it up a little bit. Usually we go right inside, but we're going to cruise around the outside first, all right? All right, here we go. Give them a look at the front front tire tread there, Jackie. Passenger side front. That's, that's got a pretty decent amount of tread. Looking good. Got some nice bridge stones there. A lot of life on those babies. Alcoa aluminum wheels. Let's check out the underneath here. Look at the look at the luggage bays. I doubt there's ever been a daggum piece of luggage in these things at all. At all. So you are gonna miss out on a little luggage storage because this is an ADA coach. Also, look, look at these things. Look how clean that is. Look how sharp, how, how sharp. Uh, dude, a lot of times on motor coaches, you'll see a lot of a lot of this 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 exterior frame here, luggage frame. A lot of times you'll see those all banged up, curb shotted, and everything. Battery box right in here. Look at this. A couple of boy, those look pretty near new. Eight D's right there. Master switch and all of that. A lot of times you can see a lot of corrosion in the battery box area. Not on this. Not on this one. There we go. And uh, Jackie just informed me we're not going to demo the lift, but it does function. So right inside here, you got a Rikon cassette style wheelchair lift, control pendant over there that you can, you know, what's the matter, bro? <laughs> He's laughing at me already. And then you can see it takes up nearly that whole daggum luggage compartment, but you could throw some gear and what have you on top of that as well. So. There you have it. Looking really good on the outside here. I'm going to lower these down so we can get a really good look at the at the body, the condition of the body. You can see where an old logo was on here, where it's been painted over. But billboard's looking good. You are going to see you can see some some seam lines from old vinyl and stuff like that, vinyl stickers, some runs right here. You are going to see some minor dings and scratches, but there's nothing major, no major infirmities on this. Give them a look underneath there too, will you? Drive tires, about, well, those are similar to the amount of same tread on the fronts. Give them a look at the undercarriage, they're really good. You're not gonna find a lot of rust on this, very minimal rust, mostly surface rust from what I can tell. Give them a look at the tag tire there. Bridgestones there as well on the tags on the rear drive axle. Bridgestones on the front. Good tires. How's that look inside there? I'll tell you what. If you look down the billboards, man, looking pretty clean. Minor dings and scratches. The big tour style windows that are tinted. All the glass is in pretty good shape. Wait a minute. What's this here, Jack? Ah, I just lied to you. Look at that. I can actually, I think we missed that on our initial inspection. Look at that crack right there. Don't fret, we can get that dialed in. You can see a rock chip there, there. Oh goodness sakes, one there. Anyhow, here we go. Getting back to the engine compartment. Look how clean that is. As I mentioned earlier, the maintenance on these things are tip top. The transit authority that operated these, they were stellar on maintenance super clean that is a remanufactured engine look here 
Open up the barn doors. Look at that. That right there, Detroit Diesel Series 60, 12.7. And of course, married to an Allison B500R. We'll talk about that more as well as we cruise around this. Jackie's giving you a shot of the undercarriage right there. Listen to that baby purr. Oh. I'm not gonna lie, that thing sounds like a million bucks. Looks like it too. LED lights all in the back. LED clearance lights, turn signals, backup lights. I don't know, Jack, it's looking pretty sharp. You are gonna see a little action here. Not a lot, just some minor scratches. From what I can tell, this is, this is about the worst of it, you know what? A lot of little rock chips here and there. Some faded paint, discoloring of the paint, sun fading and whatnot. Rear drive tag tire, bridge stones, all the way around. Yeah. Alcoa's again, as I mentioned earlier. Man, I love D-coaches. How's that look, Jackie? He just gave me a thumbs up. He's a man of few words until he's in front of the camera. <laughs> Anyhow, luggage compartments, look at that big old spider. Luggage compartment. Let's get a look at the other side as well. You can see, again, I, you know, I, I, I've already said it. It's tip top. Looks good. Looks good behind this here. AC condenser and fans. Also, the other end of the Rikon style or Rikon cassette style wheelchair lift. There's that lubricating that. I don't totally understand that system, but we have, uh, Jackie and I kind of dug into that a little bit. What it is, is it's lubricating, if I'm not mistaken, the front axles. I don't know. And there's one line going back there. I don't know if it goes back to the rears. Pardon my ignorance on that, but looks really good in there. Super clean. And the forward most driver's side luggage compartment. Whew, look at that. A lot of times, man, on these older coaches like this, You'll see all these brackets and stuff like this and how the luggage doors lock. A lot of these arms, look, I, you can still see grease on that. How about it? Really, really well maintained. They're not, a lot of, these are in, things I look at on coaches, you know, and stuff like that. You'll see a lot of corrosion on stuff like this. Not on these coaches, not on these. Oh, look great. Windows on this side. I don't see any rock chips on the windows on this side, but and again, Bridgestone's on the front. That's a very generous amount of tread left on those as well. MCI D, 4500. D is the model. 4500 means it's a 45 foot coach. This is a 57 passenger. Look at the front. Look, check out this stainless steel bike rack. It holds not one, but two of your favorite bicycles right all right here we go let's cruise inside give them a shot of the entry as i go in here step well treads looking really good a couple of grab bars coming in this thing it's it shows just as well inside as it does outside all right here in the driver's seat area look at this looking good this is an air ride driver's seat ussc upholstery's tip top you got a vinyl seat bottom i hear i see here and then cloth back so that indicates that this has been replaced at some point. All right, this thing looks good. It feels good. All right, let's talk about let's talk about this odometer. Look at this odometer: two hundred eighty-six thousand seven hundred forty-three miles. Now I know what you're thinking. That's not accurate. As far as as far as the motor coach goes, this is going to have over a million on it. So it uh, don't fret about that. I don't want to. But anyhow. However, the miles on the odometer are accurate with the engine. The engine was replaced in February of 2017. I should, uh, it was a remand engine, not replaced. The engine was remanufactured from Detroit Diesel in February of 2017. And that's what you got. Six years later, you got 286,000 miles on it. Also, the Allison B500R, best transmission on the planet as far as I'm concerned. At least in motor coaches, right? 
that was replaced in what uh, was September of 2021 so I'll tell you what dude low miles on the engine and the tranny those two together that's a fantastic union all the gauges working airs up nicely you got the Allison B500 shift pad over here I should say B500 R because that's the R means it has a retarder on it and that is this missile switch right here don't touch it Jack look at that I feel like top gun when I do that let's do it again missiles armed all right very good all the control or the control panel over here looking good everything's still legible a lot of times the writing it wears off and everything not on these looking really good looking tip top entry door switch right here it's got the got the dual transit style bifold entry door could we call those french doors jack would that be appropriate he just shook his head no <laughs> we won't call them french doors not in the bus world right power min power mirrors over here tilt telescoping wheel typical transit setup you got turn signals foot activated turn signals down here look at that look at that left right turn signals all right this pedal over here i don't know what that is but i think that's the ejector seat anyways yeah this thing's got a great feel to it looks good windshields are in good shape well i need to start looking before i start talking look we do have a mild rock chip down here oh goodness we got one here too jack i don't think i think those are small enough to not fall into the dot requirement yeah windshield's looking good you got pull down sun visors right here on both sides the ticket booth window here glass is good dual pane right here a lot of times these will fog up so not on these oh look at this for all your driving pleasure the top windows a little fogged the top windows fogged oh goodness a little bit a little bit not too bad so really good conditions uh, dude i like sitting here this feels really good so oh look here that's not an air horn oh weak anyways all right let's cruise around through the passenger area right here we got one heck of a sneeze shield here look at that driver modesty stanchion along with a door that's so the driver cannot get attacked <laughs> by combative passengers i'm kidding i don't know i just made that up you got a couple of overhead parcel racks that are enclosed here there's all the brains for all the security si camera security system and all of that and then one up here as well look how about it jack looking good you got a led uh marquee right here there's one on the front too passenger seats really uh pretty good shape showing this air up close you are going to see some edge wear throughout these seats see that no gaping holes no foam hanging out anything like that and these vinyl headrests these are easily replaceable but a lot of them have been cut i think the previous owner operator had some kind of advertisement in there and they cut them out so the upholstery again normal edge wear on these nothing super bad and also these right here these these fold these seats fold up these three four five and you can slide these forward slide them back and this will accommodate up to two wheelchairs so you can see the wheelchair entry door here right right here above the cassette style lift i pointed out earlier in the video that lift comes out door swings open you get what i'm saying all right we'll hold up to two ADA passengers. So uh, overhead parcel racks all the way down. And these are not enclosed. Another transit style feature, roof hatch here in the rear and in the front. Ceiling's in really good shape. Sidewall's in good shape. The floor feels really good as I walk down through here. I'm not feeling any soft spots. There's no rips or tears in the flooring anywhere. And notice where I'm standing now. This is typically where a restroom would be in your standard motor coach. But since this was operated by a transit authority, well, they apparently don't accommodate those that need to use the facilities. So, <laughs> anyways, I digress. Uh, Anti-vandal grab handles on all the aisle side seats. 
in pretty good shape. Look, here's another rock chip. I pointed that out on the outside. These are single pane windows. They're tinted and they're in pretty good shape, but uh, what was I gonna say? Reclining passenger seats, see here? And then foot rests, arm rests. Yeah, this is a great bus, don't you think, Jack? Mm-hmm. All right, I think that'll do it for the inside. We already did the outside. Do you have anything to add, Jackie? Nope. Nothing, like I said, man, a few words. Look at this modesty stanchion. I'll tell you what, you're not going to mess with the driver too much with this apparatus, are you? Look at that. It's got a magnet up here. It keeps this nice and secure. <laughs> okay. Anyhow, I think that'll do it. Again, I, dude, I want to emphasize on this one more time because, man, we have climbed all over these coaches. The maintenance on these things is impeccable. It really is. The Transit Authority did a fantastic job on these. And it just makes these it makes these coaches just even more valuable. Engine was replaced in two February of 17, remanufactured by Detroit Diesel. It currently has 286,000 on it. Allison B500R remanned in September of 21. Oh, oh, I tell you. Anyways, I'm starting to ramble, Jack. Let's cruise outside and let's button this up. This is a fantastic D coach. Kneeling, I didn't mention the kneeling. I messed with that earlier when it was airing up. The kneeling feature wa works properly. All right, I think that'll do it. 2005 MCI D4500, 57 passenger. Uh-oh, what's going on? That's actually pretty normal around here, isn't it? Federal way. All right, that'll do it. Appreciate your time checking us out. Over here, Jack. You're not even pointing the camera at me. <laughs> Appreciate your time checking us out. Uh, give, us a, give us a look online, nwbus.com. Give us a call, 800-231-7099. Thank you.